Hello and welcome to the Great Basin College application video. To start, let's go to our website www.gbcnv.edu. Next, you're going to want to scroll down to about the middle of the page and click Apply Now. On this page, you'll look to the left side of the page where it says Application for Admission and click the blue link. You start by clicking the drop-down menu next to Term to select the term you're applying for. Afterwards, you're going to type in your full legal name. Here, we do not want nicknames. Next, type in your Social Security number or ITIN, or check the box next to that to apply without those things. Type in your date of birth. and your gender. Next we're going to put in our physical address, including the state, city, and postal code. It'll ask you what date did you move to this address. If you've been here your entire life, just type in your date of birth. Next, it'll ask you if your physical address is the same as your mailing address. If it is, check that box. If not, type in your mailing address. Next, you'll put in your phone number and which number you prefer. And lastly, on this page, you'll put in your email address. It is important to provide this because this is the primary way that GBC is going to send communications. When you're done with this page, click continue. Sometimes there will be errors. You'll go back and correct those. It'll ask you to confirm the information that you have entered is correct and then you click continue to proceed otherwise correct any issues that you may see on the screen the next bit is into additional information that is needed to complete your application if you're a millennium scholar check the box and type in your id if you know it if you've ever applied to any of the following NCHI institutions, go ahead and check the box next to that. And if you know your student ID, type it in there. If you have any former names, such as if you've been married or anything like that before and you've had to change your name, go ahead and type that in here. If you have multiple former names, click the Add button next to that to add them in. If unlike our sample person here, you have moved before, go ahead and put in any former addresses that you may have had in the date that you lived there. This is going to help determine your residency status for Great Basin College. Once you're completed everything on the page, click continue. Again, it's going to ask that you confirm that the information you've entered is correct and click continue to proceed. Next, it asks for your ethnicity, high school education, and any previous college or university education. You'll check the box if you're Hispanic or Latino, and then click on which racial category you most best fit into. If none of those are correct, just leave it blank. Next, for high school education, it's going to ask you for if you are or have completed the high school diploma, GED, or any of the examples there, you'll click yes or no. When you expect to graduate or if you've graduated. Or the date of the Certificate of High School Equivalency was issued if you're not graduating high school. 
It'll ask you for your high school information. If your high school is not listed on here, then go ahead and just click that button. It'll then ask you to put in that high school information. And then you'll type in which high school diploma type that you're receiving. Next, it asks for any previous college or university education. If you have been duly enrolled in high school and college at the same time, this is where you would put the information if it's not Great Basin College. Next, you're going to put in any emergency contact information. This is optional, so you don't have to if you don't want to. It'll ask you for any parent or guardian education, if they have completed college, high school, whichever one it would be. Then you'll put in your citizenship information. If you're from the US, just type in USA. If not, click the magnifying glass. It's going to give you different options. and you would put in the information that is most accurate for you. It'll ask you then if you were a military veteran. You'll say yes or no. It'll ask if you live in Nevada currently. You'll say yes or no. It then asks again for your date that you moved to Nevada. If you've been here since birth, go ahead and put that in. If not, type in the date that you moved here. It'll then ask you for your state-issued ID or driver's license. And lastly, it's going to ask you for your education goal and objective. If you are seeking financial aid, you do have to choose a degree or certificate program. You'll click the box next to, I will be seeking a degree at GBC while also completing my high school diploma. Or, I will not be seeking a degree at GBC. Here, it's going to tell you to click General Studies, Degree Seeking, or I will not be seeking a degree, we'll say Non-Degree Seeking. Then click Submit. The last page is a disclaimer. You're going to check the box next to each term below to agree to the individual term. For the first box, you're applying to an institution that is a member of the Nevada System of Higher Education and will be issued one identification number to be used at all NCHI institutions. Limited personal information is shared among NCHI institutions in accordance with NCHI policies governing the security and privacy of student and employee information. I understand that I did not declare a degree or certificate, so I may not be eligible for financial aid financial assistance or scholarships, including the Millennium Scholarship. I, the prospective student, certify that all information in this application is correct. I also understand that by registering for classes, I am responsible for payment of all associated fees. A one-time fee of $10, non-refundable application fee will be assessed once you have registered for your classes. And I certify the information provided on this application is true and accurate. I understand that all required credentials must be submitted before an admission decision may be made. I accept complete responsibility for requesting official transcripts of record to be forwarded directly to admissions and records from each school attended, whether credits were awarded or not, and I fully understand that those transcripts will not be returned. Furthermore, I agree to abide by all the rules and regulations of Great Basin College and the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. Once you've completed the disclaimers, click Submit. The last page is going to be a thank you page saying thank you for applying and give you instructions for further information. Thank you for watching this video. Have a wonderful day.